In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the example syllabus and schedule in your template course. So um, when you go into course information, you will see that we already have a, um, a syllabus and a schedule already uploaded as files in Blackboard. So what you want to do is um, first you want to download the, one of the examples above or the template above fix it, make it work for your syllabus and your schedule, and then you're ready to go in and upload it. You want to make sure that you save it as a PDF. So in Microsoft Word, you're going to go into, um, when you go to do a file, save as, you pick where you want it to go, and then down here where it has the file type, you're going to change it to a PDF file, and then save that. Okay, so that's what you want to upload is a PDF file. So now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to edit these two to bring in the, um, the new syllabus that I've created that's a PDF and or the schedule. So what you want to do is you want to make sure your edit mode is on in your upper right hand corner here. And then you're going to come down to your either your syllabus or schedule, hit the drop arrow and go into edit. Now when you replace the file that we already have in here, you're going to lose the title up above. So you're going to need to type this back in or you can copy it. And that way when you lose it, it you can paste it back in. So I'm going to go into um, select a different file. I want to browse my computer. All right, so you want to find the file that you saved. So I know that this is my blended file, and again, I want to make sure it's the PDF file. So I'm going to select that, and I'm going to hit Open. And you can see that I lost my file name at the top, or the name of it. So I'm going to paste it back in, or type it back in at the top. So that's what I'm doing is the course syllabus. Um, you want to make sure you turn Track Views on if it's not on, and then hit Submit. So by putting this in as a PDF file, what's going to happen when students use the links that we've created in the course menu over here, when they click on it, it's going to automatically open and show the file. Okay, and then they have an option over on the right hand side to print it or they can download it. Okay, so this is the advantage of setting it up as a PDF file directly that they're going to be working with. It also sets it up as a PDF so that they can um, look at it on mobile devices. So if I go back into my course information, I would go through the exact same steps to replace the schedule that I created and saved as a PDF. Okay, so you would just go to the drop arrow, go to edit, I would copy the name at the top, control C, and then choose select a different file. It browse my computer, find the file that I wanted to grab. Okay. So this is going to be a blended schedule. All right, well, let me just grab one here. Okay. I would paste this in and then go ahead and submit. By doing it this way, you're keeping the links to this information in the course menu. If you just create your own files and upload your own files and not edit these, you're going to lose the links in the course menu. So it's very important to do it this way. And then you would just submit. All right. So when the, when the students go into course information, they would still have to click on this to actually open up and see the file. Okay. Like I said, they can print or download it.